Okay, how many books do you think I can fit in this bag? Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday the 15th of February as I'm filming this and I just thought I'd come in and open the vlog. I don't have a massive plan for the vlog today. Basically, I'm going into Bath. I'm very excited about it. I haven't been into Bath since, <clears throat> I don't know, I think it might have been last summer. It's a good six months since I've been in. And I am gonna go for a really good wander and I have no timetable, no rush today. And I'm gonna treat myself to a few things. So I thought I would take you along with me and show you Bath. I will link in the description my silent vlog for Bath, which I did last May. It's a video I'm really proud of. It's quite different from the other stuff that I do. Um, and we will see some of the same things today because obviously Bath is not that big of a city and I tend to go to the same places. But I asked on Twitter and Instagram yesterday and you overwhelmingly said that you still wanted me to vlog today. So I love making vlogs about the city. It's going to be a nice day. So I thought I would take you along. So yeah, I'm just, um, I'm gonna have to swap hands. I am just getting ready to go. Let's hold it properly, there we go. Um, it's about nine o'clock. Plan is to get into town. I like to get in early while it's quiet. Um, and then I'm gonna go and grab some breakfast, hopefully at the bagel place if it's still open, but it, like I said, it's been a while since I've been in Bath. So I'm hoping for a bagel. Uh, then I need to do things like go to Primark to get like some basics like vest tops and stuff and socks and all that kind of stuff. I'll show you a little bit of Primark but that's not going to be the real focus of this video because that's probably quite boring. Um, I need to go to Primark, I need to go to Superdrug and get all of my like skincare stuff. I, basically, I'm at that point where everything's kind of run out <laughs> and I need to restock. Uh, so we'll do that. Then I will dump all my stuff back in the car, which I always do. And then we will go book shopping. I've got my giant What Victoria Red tote bag that Leanne made me last year, which is ready to go. Uh, we'll do that. I'm going to get some sushi for lunch. Again, if the sushi place is still open that I like. And then we'll finish off with some bubble tea and come home. So yeah, I'm hoping to be a bit more chatty today, although I'm still a little bit wary of like talking to the vlog in public. So we'll see how that goes. But there'll be lots of clips and then I will definitely show you at the end what I bought. In terms of books, my TBR is currently about 30 and I have some Christmas money to spend. So I feel like books are going to be acquired today. I definitely want to get Her Majesty's Royal Coven. Yes, by Juno Dawson. That's definitely on my list of books that I want, but I want it in hardback. And if I can get one with sprayed edges, I think I might be too late for it, but I'm going to try. Uh, so I'm definitely going to get that. I'm debating Babel by R.F. Kuang. Can't decide if that's for me or not, but I might be sneaky and read the first few pages in the bookshop to get an idea. And then we will see what else happens to fall into my hands. So yes, um, I'm just going to do a quick wander around the house, make sure everything's locked up and tidy. Gary was away last night. I had a terrible night's sleep because he was away. <laughs> which is why I look quite like this this morning, but I'm hoping some fresh air, wander around my favourite place and some breakfast will help. And then uh, we'll do a bit of shopping. So yeah, I just thought I'd open this and I'll see you in a minute. I'm hoping you can hear me, this feels super weird. I've been doing booktube for four years and vlogging in public still feels quite uncomfortable. Um, it's now about half past nine. As you can see, I am in the middle of town. I've missed this place so much, it's so, so beautiful. Um, lots of stuff's changed since I was here last, so some things have shut, other stuff has sprung up. Thankfully, the bagel place is still there. I'm not to walk into people as I'm vlogging. Um, bagel place is still there. So we're gonna get some breakfast in a minute. But I thought I'd walk first up to the Royal Crescent and the circus 
and show you those beautiful spots my friend is doing weird things today um show you those then go and get some bagels what a bagel for breakfast at a smoothie have that do the boring bits of shopping like primark and boots and stuff and then crack on with the bookshop thing um as i was walking up as well i was reminded of the guild hall market which has got a huge huge um bookstore secondhand bookstore so yes that's what we're doing i'm getting out of breath because bath is very hilly um and i also put my hair up since i saw you last it's at that point where i really need to cut thankfully at the time of filming this i'm having a cut on saturday so that'll be a good thing but yes thought i'd do a bit of talking to camera because i'm trying to be brave but let's go to the royal crescent Okay, we're up on the Royal Crescent. It's so beautiful. I've forgotten just how beautiful it is. In case you don't know, I worked in Bath <clears throat> for almost a decade. I love my school where I teach now, but I miss, I miss being in Bath. There's something about it that just really speaks to my soul. Um, I also came here for uni, so I've been here a long time. But yeah, I've missed this place. So up on the Crescent, just gonna have a little wander along and then head back into town and get some breakfast because I am hungry. <laughs> now about half 10 I am in Queen Square which is one of my favorite places in Bath I used to come here basically every day for lunch if it wasn't raining I sit and eat my lunch just had my bagel from the whole bagel I had a classic smoked salmon and cream cheese a little bit of pepper a little bit of lemon lovely on an everything bagel and then I asked the lady at the shop which smoothie she recommended and she recommended this blackberry one which is really good so I'm just having a nice slow, quiet-ish, apart from the noise of traffic, um, breakfast, which is such a treat because when I'm teaching, I'm lucky if I can shove half a cereal bar in my mouth whilst I'm doing five other things. So yeah, it's just really nice to sit in the sunshine for a little bit and just be, but I am starting to get my itch, I'm like, okay, I want to get shopping now. Um, so yeah, going to do the boring stuff first, like I've already said, so Primark and Boots, and I need to go to the bank, then dump, go back to the car, drop my stuff off, which is a pro tip if you're going to use central city parking I always drop my stuff off part way through the day because then you don't have to carry it around all the time so I drop my stuff off and then come back out and get to the books so yeah I'm having just the nicest little day Now about midday, and I was doing like, well, I was doing all the boring bits. Primark was heaving, didn't even really film in there. Well, I didn't film in there at all, anything because it's just full of screaming children, which is a delight. Uh, but I've done all the boring bits now, dropped my stuff off at the car, hydrated, hydration is key, and now we're going to get to the fun bit, which is the books. Um, usually I would start at the top of town, work my way back towards the car, but the sushi place is right at the top of town, so we're going to do it a different way around today. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to see what I find.
Okay, again, I'm hoping you can hear me. Uh, so, no books bought in toppings. It is stunning in there, but it is really expensive. And aside from the addition of Legends and Artists that I showed you, that has the gorgeous, like absolutely stunning uh, cinnamon roll sprayed edges, um, I couldn't find any of the books that I wanted. So, that's fine. I had a very nice time browsing. I do not need another hardback copy of Legends and Lattes. Um, although I am tempted. I have already got one. It doesn't have the sprayed edges, but you can't see that on the bookshelf. So I think for £16, I should leave it and get something else. So we're going to walk up now. We're walking up now to uh, Mr B's Emporium, which is actually above Waterstones, but I want to have a look at Mr B's before I go to Waterstones. Uh, because again, they might have the special editions that I'm after. But we will see. So we're going to go there now. It's just one of the most magical bookshops I think I've ever been in. So yeah, let's go there. Okay, Mr. B's was stunning as ever, as you saw, but still no books bought. Um, again, I just couldn't find the editions that I wanted and I love supporting indie bookshops, it's so important, but at the moment I just don't have the money to spend on books that I'm definitely really wanting to read. So we're gonna go up to Waterstones now and I'm sure that's where I'll break the seal. Waterstones came through as you saw and I have acquired some books. I've got one more bookshop to do which is Persephone which is right at the top of town and then it'll be time for lunch because I am starving. Okay so Persephone is very pretty but I don't think it's my kind of bookshop which is fine. Uh, then I went across to the sushi place and it's gone. It's a really pretentious canteen now and I was like oh that's disappointing. So then I thought I'd go for Wagamama's, but there's a line out the door because it's now like half past one. So I'm going to wander down to the Guildhall and um, have a look at the second hand bookshop there because, as like I said earlier, it's absolutely massive. Um, and then see if I can get some takeaway sushi somewhere. And then it'll be bubble tea and then home, and hopefully the husband will be there by then. So let's see what we can do. And then I came home because basically the heavens opened and it started raining. But that was fine because I had done what I'd come in to do. I've had such a nice day um, since I spoke to you last. I went back to Tommy and Co just to check they didn't have Her Majesty's Royal Coven, which I've now ordered via Amazon uh, because they didn't. Um, just to double check that they didn't have it but lurking somewhere, but they didn't. So that, that was that. And then when I got some sushi, as you saw, I sat and ate that. Also watched a really, really good um, trumpet player in Abbey, Abbey Square, Abbey Courtyard, something like that. 
uh, which was lovely. And then obviously I gave him a little tip because he'd kept me entertained during my uh, very late lunch break. Um, and then, yeah, it was starting to rain and I knew Gary was home and I'd done all the bits. So I went and got a bubble tea the size of my head. Mm, this is a white peach fruit tea with mango um, bubbles. A large size, obviously, because I only get to have them at once in Blue Moon and highly recommend they are delicious. I should have bought two, is what I think. So yes, I um, definitely went shopping, as you can see. I'm not going to show you everything because I don't think, you know, I bought like bras and stuff. The internet doesn't need to see that. But I will just show you a few of the bits and pieces that I picked up. So we'll do other stuff first and then we'll do the books last because that's the most exciting bit. So I bought <laughs> Ramley Apple, um, right way up with help, hot cross buns from m and the best. I don't really like hot cross buns generally, but apple ones are elite. So I bought a pack of those for the weekend. I bought some more um, wire coat hangers from Primark. Now, talking about Primark, we're well aware of the issue with fast fashion and it's something that I try to be mindful of. And it's one of the reasons I use services like Stitch Fix because they use really high quality clothes that you can just wear and wear and wear and don't wear out for ages. But sometimes you need some of the basics and for the price point at the moment, Primark is what I can afford, quite honestly. So I went in and got a few basics, like I said, which I won't bore you with all of, because um, I bought things like um, vest tops and stuff. So we don't need to, go through that more vest tops i did buy two pairs of these like oh there's a top attached to that plimsolly shoes these are really great for school in the summer they're basically rip off toms um but they're really comfortable just canvas shoes that i can wear so i got some in navy let's chuck those there and i got some in black that's another vest top um yeah i got some in black as well they're like a black like pleather um and again they're just easy for me to chuck on at work with the dress um through the summer i also got some more washcloths don't think that's exciting lighting is getting worse as i sit here uh and then yeah i bought underwear and stuff which you definitely don't need to see and then i bought some skincare bits from superdrug hello savvy hi what have i got she's sniffing all around everything uh so i bought the vitamin e body cream this stuff is so so good if you're looking for something that's ineffective but works really well i would highly recommend this one that's sub's tail do you want to come up and say hi do you want to come and say hello she's like no i do not okay <laughs> off you go then um then i also bought because i am now a certain age i got the um plumping night cream from garnier and then these are expensive but they work really well for my skin and they were too for 21 pounds i think um and this is the nip and fab glycolic night fix pads and then the day ones as well daily cleansing pads these work so well for my adult acne um and it's been a while since i've had them so i thought i would treat my skin and then books so the beautiful bag that leanne made me last year for christmas is definitely full <laughs> is that a thumbnail maybe um so yes, I, I bought books. I did think for a little while that I was going to come away with nothing because the first couple of bookshops were not particularly fruitful, but then Waterstones came through and I also did get another book in the, at the second hand bookshop, a bookstall that you saw in the Guild Hall. So let's start with that. That's the girl with all the gifts. In a second, once I finish showing this, I'm going to film a clip from my wrap up um, vlog so I'm not going to talk too much about what all these books are and why I picked them up but this is Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey I had deliberately been looking for a second hand copy of this because I read it years ago and my year 11s recently used a section of it for an exam and this made me want to reread it basically it's the short answer for that so that's the first one and then Waterstones <laughs> yes we bought books in Waterstones so I got Galatea by Madeline Miller I got Pandora's Jar by Natalie Haynes. And as I said, I'm not going to go through these individually. You've now got set up cleaning yourself down here because you'll have seen already seen my thoughts in my wrap up vlog because that's coming before this one. So that's why I'm going to whip through Pandora's Jar, which is nonfiction by Natalie Haynes. Another nonfiction is um, Lucy Worsley's Jane Austen at Home. Then I also got uh, Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. This was in the adult section, but I'm pretty sure this is YA. Um, but I'm going to double check, but I think this is her first YA book. Uh, so I picked that one up. I then got an Alison Weir. I, I got Elizabeth of York, The Last White Rose, which is obviously going to go really nicely over there. This is Tudor Rose number one. So yeah, bought that one. And then the only hardback that I got is The Alberton Angels, 
uh, The Mysterious Case of the Appleton Angels by Janice Hallett. And this does also happen to be signed. Oh, those end pages, those are pretty. Uh, these also ha this also happens to be signed by the author, which is pretty cool. So yeah, those are all the bits and pieces. I hope you enjoyed seeing Bath with me. It was really fun to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I am now going to film another clip for my wrap up. Um, mm, so good. Yeah, I'm going to film a clip for my wrap up. I'm going to put all of this stuff away, which is going to be a big task. And then I'm going to come up with my husband and we're going to have a nice relaxed evening. She's sniffing all around the books, especially the second hand one. He's so nosy. Um, but yeah, if you made it to this point in the video, leave me the... <laughs> excuse me sir, I need this leave me the present emoji for the girl with all the gifts leave that also because I have treated myself in many many ways today um please subscribe if you'd like more of this chaos and I'll see you in the next one thanks everyone bye